Page eight. Word hunt. CD one. One. Listen and repeat. Beautiful. Outgoing. Generous. Slim. Plump. Stubborn. Smart. Handsome. Page 12. Word Hunt. CD 1. 2. Listen and repeat. Cute. Easy going. Headscarf. Honest. Punctual. Selfish. Page 12 to 13. 1C. Listening. CD 1. 3. 1. Listen to Emre talking about his family. Write the names of the family members next to each description. Hi, my name's Emre. I have a lovely family. My father, Mehmet, is tall and handsome. He has got short and dark hair. He does exercise every day. He is very honest. He never tells lies. He always tells the truth. He is also more punctual than my mother. My mother is sometimes late to work. My mother, Ella, is very beautiful. She is slimmer than my father and has got blonde hair and green eyes. She is never selfish. She always cares for others. My sister, Nil, is only six years old. She has got curly hair and green eyes. She is really cute. Everybody loves her. She is more outgoing than me. She has got a lot of friends. She can play basketball well because she is taller than her friends at school. My grandmother, Hatija, lives with us. She is a little plump and she wears a headscarf. She is more easygoing than my mother. She is usually relaxed and calm. She doesn't get angry easily. Well, what about me? <laughs> I've got short and dark hair. I'm more hardworking than my sister. <laughs> she often plays basketball and I study my lessons. Page 17. 1E. Skills. CD 1. 4. 3. Read and listen. Mark the sentences as true or false. Correct the false sentences. 1. Mr. Jones has got short, curly, black hair. 2. My teacher is polite, friendly, and outgoing. I love her very much. 3. My mother is tall and slim. She wears a headscarf. 4. My cousin is a selfish and stubborn boy. He doesn't care about anybody. 5. My best friend is easygoing. She doesn't get angry easily. 6. Sarah is so punctual. She always comes to class on time. 7. 
My brother is plump. He should lose weight. Page nineteen. The Adventures of Zoe and Joey. CD one. Five. Listen and read. I'm so bored. Let's play a game. Okay. Which game can we play in the classroom? How about guess who? That sounds great. Is it a boy or a girl? A girl. Is she tall? No, she isn't. She is shorter than me. Is she slim? Yes, she is slimmer than me. Is she outgoing? Yes, she is. She has got a lot of friends. Is she stubborn? Yes, she is. She never changes her ideas about anything. Oh, Joey, it's me. It's my turn now. It's me. No, Joey, it's not you. Is it male or female? Female. Is she beautiful? Yes, she is more beautiful than me. Is she taller than me? Yes, she is. Wow, who is she? Has she got dark hair? Yes. She isn't Sue then. No, she is not Sue. Is she punctual? Yes, she always comes to the class on time. Is she cheerful? No, she is always angry. Oh, it's Mrs. Robinson. Yes, it's Mrs. Robinson. Hello, Zoe. Hello, Mrs. Robinson. Let's practice more. Page one hundred and forty-nine. CD one six. Three. Read and complete. There are two extra words. Then listen and check your answers. My best friend. Tom is my best friend. He has got curly dark hair and brown eyes. He is taller than me. He is a basketball player. He is also slim because he eats healthy food and does exercise. He is energetic and cheerful. He likes making jokes. He is funnier than me. We laugh a lot at his jokes. He is a very generous boy. He always shares his lunch with his friends. He is also outgoing. He has got a lot of friends at school. He likes watching movies. And play computer games with his friends. He is sometimes stubborn. He doesn't change his mind easily. I love my friend very much. Let's practice more. Page one hundred and fifty. CD one seven. Five. Listen to the descriptions. Number the adjectives. There is one extra adjective. One. My sister doesn't change her ideas and opinions easily. Two. My brother hasn't got any friends. He always thinks he is right. Three, my sister is only five years old, but she can read and write. Four, my father never tells lies; he thinks truth is more important than anything.
Five. I get on well with my cousin. She doesn't get upset easily. Page twenty-four. Word hunt. CD two one. Listen and repeat. Achieve. Success. Medal. Beat. Injury. Lose. Train. Hit. Equipment. Go on a diet. Page twenty six twenty seven. One B. Vocabulary. CD two two. Two. Listen to four people talking about their life. Match the people with the photos. Hi, I'm Elaine. I'm an athlete. I train a lot every day. I eat healthy food and run three times a day. I want to win a gold medal in the marathon. Hello, I'm Marco. I'm a player in a basketball team. We achieve great success because we train so hard. Hello, I'm Janet. I play tennis. I sometimes lose the matches because I'm not a professional tennis player. I train so hard because one day I want to beat all the other players. Hi, I'm David. I like playing football. I sometimes play football with my friends. I exercise three times a week. I usually go jogging in the park. Page twenty-eight, twenty-nine. One C. Grammar. C D two three. Listen to the interview with Tom, a swimmer. Answer the questions. Hi, Tom. You're a very successful swimmer. How often do you train? I swim three times a day. I also do exercise for three hours in the gym. Wow, you train so hard. Yes, because I want to win lots of medals. Do you need any special equipment for swimming? Yes, of course I do. <laughs> I have a swimsuit, a swim cap, and swimming goggles. What do you do in your free time? I go jogging because I like outdoor activities. How often do you go jogging? Once or twice a week. I don't have much free time. I always train for swimming competitions. Thank you so much, Tom. Good luck. Thank you. Page thirty. One D. Word hunt. CD two four. Listen and repeat. Beat. Draw. Spectators. Score points. Lose. Achieve.
Page 30 1D Listening CD 2-5 1. Jack and Mike are talking about rugby. Is rugby an indoor or an outdoor sport? How is your brother, Mike? He is fine. He trains so hard for his team. Oh, really? What team is it? He plays rugby, and I really enjoy their games. How often do they have a game? Once or twice a month. They achieve great success. They usually beat the other teams. Interesting, but I have no idea about rugby. Oh, come on. It's very popular and it has a lot of spectators all around the world. Really? Tell me more about the game. Well, it's an outdoor sport. There are 15 players in each team. They don't need a lot of equipment. They only need a ball and a helmet. Players run fast to carry and pass the ball. They want to score points because they don't want to lose the game. Wow, that sounds exciting. You are right. I watch the league games on TV. It's sometimes a draw. They have the same score and it gets more exciting. I'm interested in rugby now. And maybe one day we can watch a game together. That's a good idea. Page 33. The Adventures of Zoe and Joey. CD 2. 6. Listen and read. I'm so excited for Jack King's interview. Me too. Have you got the questions? No, you've got the questions. Oh, are they at home? No, I'm just kidding. Hello, I'm Joey, and this is my friend Zoe. How are you? Good, thank you. Can we ask you some questions about your daily life? Of course. How often do you train? Once a week. Really? Do you eat healthy food? Sometimes. I love eating fast food. How many medals do you have? I don't have any medals. Hello, everyone. Hi, Jack. Oh, you aren't Jack King. No, I'm not. <laughs> oh, sorry. It is not funny. Hello, Mr. King. Can we interview you, please? Yes, of course. How often do you train? Three times a day. Wow. I train really hard because I want to win medals. How many medals do you have? I have seven gold medals and six silver medals. Do you eat healthy food? Yes, I always eat healthy food. I never eat fast food or junk food. Here is the real Jack King. <laughs> <laughs> Page 34 World Cultures CD 2 7 1 Listen to Catherine talking about the Olympic Games. Do Turkish athletes achieve success in the Olympic Games? The Olympic Games is a great sports event. It is always popular all around the world. It takes place every four years in different countries. A lot of athletes and nations participate in the Olympic Games, and there are usually over 30 different sports. Athletes train a lot before the Olympic Games. They usually train three times a day because they want to achieve success in the Games and win bronze, silver, or gold medals. Turkish athletes have many Olympic medals. For example, Taha Akgül has the gold medal in wrestling. Servet Tazegül has the gold and browns, 
and Noor Tatar has the silver and bronze medals in Taekwondo. Let's practice more. Page 153. CD 2 8. 2. Listen and correct the sentences. 1. I like doing exercise in the park. I don't like indoor activities. 2. Jason has two Olympic gold medals. 3. They're always late to the gym. 4. Mary trains twice a day because she wants to win a medal. 5. Eric is a football player and he usually has injuries in his legs. 6. This is a very successful team. They often win the matches. 7. He scores two goals in every match. Page 38. Word Hunt. CD 3. 1. Listen. And repeat. Raise. Move. Grow up. Brilliant. Graduate. Get married. Own. Awards. Prize. Alone. Page 40 1B Vocabulary CD 3-2 Listen to Jack talking about his friends. Write the correct names under the photos. When I was at elementary school, I had lots of friends. My friend Jenny moved to Manchester from a very small village. She was a fan of rugby. Tom was always alone. He had few friends. Catherine wanted to be a musician because her parents played lots of instruments. Mark was a brilliant student. He got high marks. Olivia always wanted to visit all the countries in the world. And Sue was interested in cooking. She always cooked something in the kitchen. Page 4142 1C Grammar CD 3-3 Listen to John Lennon's biography and match the events with the years. John Lennon was born on October 9, 1940, in Liverpool. When John was four years old, his parents divorced. His mother died in 1958. Lennon met Paul McCartney in 1957, and they formed a music band. It was the Beatles. Brian Epstein discovered the Beatles in 1961. Lennon got married to Cynthia Powell in 1962. They had a son. They raised their child in Liverpool. Lennon separated from his wife and left the Beatles in 1969. He moved to the United States in 1971. In 1980, he died in New York. During his life, he owned many awards. He was a brilliant musician. Page 43 1D Listening CD 
three, four. Mike is interviewing Robert Pattinson's childhood friend on a radio program. Listen, read, and circle the right words. Hello. Today we have a friend of Robert Pattinson. Let's learn about Robert's life. Welcome to our radio program, Tina. Thanks for inviting me. When was he born? He was born in 1986. What was he like when he was a child? He was so outgoing and friendly, and he was so handsome. He is still handsome. Yes, he is. <laughs> <laughs> Where did he grow up? He grew up in London. My house was next to his house. Was he hardworking? Yes, he studied a lot to achieve success in acting. He is very good at acting. He was very popular as Edward in Twilight. <laughs> <laughs> Tina, thank you so much for everything. You're welcome. I am glad to be here. Bye. Page forty-four. One E. Skills. C D three five. Two. Listen and complete the sentences with the years in the box. Ashley Cooper was born in California in nineteen seventy-eight. She was a brilliant student at school. She received special award from her school in 1990. She wasn't alone. She had lots of friends. She was outgoing. She liked helping old people. She wanted to be a doctor. She was a really hardworking person. She studied medicine and graduated in 2002. She moved to New York in 2004 to work in a big hospital. She got married to Adam Taylor in 2007. And had two sons. She is one of the most famous doctors in New York now. Page forty-five. The Adventures of Zoe and Joey. CD three six. Listen and read. This homework is very difficult. How can I find Charles Dickens's biography? I have an idea. Let's go to the library. There are lots of books there. Great. Let's go. Zoe, can you read his biography for me, please? I am taking some notes. Okay. He was hardworking and brilliant at school. He wrote lots of books when he was a child. Where was he born? He was born in the USA. Are you sure? He is an English writer. Maybe his family lived in the USA. It's interesting. Waltz and Marathon was one of his famous books. Waltz and Marathon. Let's find this book. Hmm. I can't find it. That's okay. When did he write Oliver Twist? Hmm. I can't find it. It isn't a perfect biography. He wrote a shortcut in time too. I don't know that book either. When was he born? He was born in 1951. Come on, Zoe. Are you reading Charles Dickens's biography? Yes, of course. Look. Oh no! He isn't Charles Dickens. He is Charles Dickinson. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Page one hundred and fifty-eight. CD three seven four. Listen and number the photos. One. 
I moved to Madrid in 1996 and stayed there until 1999. Two, Alex graduated in 2008 and started to work in a hospital. Three, my brother was born in 1988. I was so happy. Four, Michael Jackson died in Los Angeles in 2009. Five, Steven Spielberg received the Best Director Award in 1999. Six, my cousin got married to his childhood love last week. Seven. My sister had a son and a daughter. Page fifty. Word hunt. CD four one. Listen and repeat. Attack. Hunt. Human. Habitat. Desert. Cage. Jungle. Enormous. Poisonous. Prey. Page fifty-two, fifty-three. One B. Vocabulary. CD four two. Two. Listen and put a tick in the chart. You can put more than one tick in some of the boxes. One. Sharks are dangerous because they sometimes attack people. They live in the sea and oceans. Two, lizards are reptiles and they are usually small. They usually live in mountains, jungles, and deserts. Three, tigers are from cat family. You can see them in safari parks. They live in cages there. Four, elephants are enormous mammals. They usually live in deserts and jungles. Five, many people think dolphins are fish because they live in the sea and oceans, but they are wrong. Dolphins are mammals. Six, owls usually live in trees in jungles and mountains. They hunt for small animals at night. Page fifty-four. Word hunt. CD four three. Listen and repeat. Extinct. Survive. Polar bear. Global warming. Afraid of. Harm. Endangered. Page fifty four. Fifty five. One C. Listening. C D four four. One. Listen to the interview with Brian Adams, a zoologist. Answer the questions. As a zoologist, what do you think about endangered animals? 
I feel really sorry for them. Many animals aren't extinct, but they are endangered. Which animals are now extinct? For example, dodo birds and elephant birds are now extinct. Why did they become extinct? They became extinct because of humans. People always harmed wild animals because they were afraid of them. That's so sad. Yes, some animals became extinct because people hunted them for different reasons. What should we do to protect wildlife? We should protect wild animals. We shouldn't hunt them. Are polar bears extinct? No, there are still some polar bears at the North Pole, but they are endangered because of global warming. They need our help to survive. Global warming is a big problem in the world. What should we do to stop global warming? We shouldn't harm the environment. This is our world and our habitat. Famous zoologist Brian Adams, thank you for this nice interview. It was a pleasure for me. Page fifty seven fifty eight. One E. Skills. CD four five. One. Listen and order the paragraphs. Then answer the question. What did global warming cause? Some animals became extinct because people hunted them for different reasons. People didn't protect the environment. It caused global warming. Global warming caused animal extinction. It's like a chain. What should we do to protect them? We shouldn't hunt them. We should keep their habitats clean. Mountains, oceans, forests, lakes are their habitats. We should protect national parks too. Many people visit national parks to have picnics, and they don't clean. We should protect the nature for wildlife. We should plant trees. We shouldn't waste energy. To protect wildlife is to protect our future. Page fifty nine. The Adventures of Zoe and Joey. CD four six. Listen and read. Look at these two dinosaurs. They're enormous. They're called T. Rex. They are carnivorous. They like hunting. I don't understand. What does carnivorous mean? They eat meat. They hunt animals. This is a lovely bird. What is it called? It is called dodo bird. They became extinct two hundred and sixty years ago. Oh, it's too bad. Why did they become extinct? Because people hunted them and ate their eggs. I know this bird. Isn't it a passenger pigeon? Yes, it is. They became extinct too. What do you know about them? They lived in North America. Last passenger pigeon died in a zoo in 1914. That's a dinosaur. It's alive. What? What are you talking about? Over there. Be careful, Joey. <laughs> Come on, Zoe. It's just a robot. Oh. Which animal is this? Let's read. It's a Tasmanian tiger. Where did they live? They lived in Australia and Tasmania. They became extinct in Tasmania in the 1930s. Look at that robot! It is roaring. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Because it isn't a robot; it's a real African lion. What? I'm leaving. Wait for me. Page fifty-nine. 
Let's practice more. Page one hundred and sixty. CD four seven. Two. Listen and number the pictures. One. Monkeys live in the jungle. Two. A mouse is a perfect prey for a cat. Three. Animals live in cages in the zoo. Four. Camels live in deserts. Five. Hippos are enormous animals. Six. Sharks can attack people in the sea. Page sixty-four. Word hunt. CD five one. Listen and repeat. Documentary. News. Quiz show. Reality show. Series. Sitcom. Soap opera. Talk show. Remote control. Channel. Page sixty six, sixty seven, one B. Vocabulary. CD five two. Two. Listen to four people talking about different types of programs. Mark the sentences as true, T, or false, F. I'm Tanya. I always watch the news on TV. I prefer news to other TV programs. I think they should show more good news on TV. We always hear bad stories. I'm Jim. I like watching documentaries about animals and technology. Documentaries are interesting programs. I learn a lot from them. I don't like soap operas. I think they are too boring, and I don't want to waste time. I'm Kate. My favorite TV series is How I Met Your Mother. I prefer sitcoms to dramas. Sitcoms are funny, but I think dramas are very boring. I also like quiz shows. I'm Max. I don't like watching TV. I prefer listening to news on radio. I think the quality of TV programs is not good. People should read books and listen to music. Page seventy. One D. Listening. Word hunt. C D. Five three. Listen and repeat. Discussion. Commercials. Recommend. Appear. Director. Page seventy. One D, listening. C D five four. Two. Listen to Sally talking about her favorite film series, Harry Potter films. Which film did she enjoy most? 
I don't watch too much TV. Most TV programs are boring. There are too many commercials too. They are long and waste of time. I prefer going to the cinema to watching TV. But last night I watched Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part Two. It appeared on TV. I also read all the Harry Potter books. J.K. Rowling is the author of the books. Four directors worked on the series: Chris Columbus, Alfonso Cuarón, Mike Newell, and David Yates. My favorite movie is Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. The movies are about the adventures of Harry Potter. He was a wizard in the film series. He went to a witchcraft school and learned about magic. I love Harry Potter books and movies because I like fantasy stories and magic. I think these stories are fantastic and so interesting. I also follow film discussions on the internet. People share their ideas with other people, and there are lots of positive things about Harry Potter there. I recommend you to read all the books and watch all the movies of Harry Potter. Page seventy-three. The Adventures of Zoe and Joey. CD five, five. Listen and read. I'm bored. Let's do something fun. Let's play computer games. They're really fun. Oh no! I prefer watching TV to playing computer games. Good idea. Let's watch TV. I can't find the remote control. Can you see it? You're so untidy. I think it's under those papers. Oh yes, here it is. Give me the remote control. No. Here is a quiz show. Here is a soap opera. Here is Joey. Can you stop changing the channels, please? I can't find anything interesting. Give it to me then. I like quiz shows. They're interesting. I prefer reality shows to quiz shows. I think reality shows are fantastic. Let's watch a horror movie. I think they are very exciting. Oh, I don't like scary movies. They are so frightening. Let's watch this. Okay. Joey, I'm so scared. Let's watch something else, please. No, you're not a child. These are not real things, you know. Stop that noise, Zoe. What noise? I'm not doing anything. Listen, can you hear it? Oh yes. What is it? Oh my God. Hi, Mum. Joey, are you scared? Page seventy-four. World cultures. CD five, six, two. Listen to Brenda and Jason talking about famous films in the world. What types of films do they like? What types of films do you like, Jason? I prefer watching action films because I like actions and adventures. What's your favorite action film? The Dark Knight. I watched it again yesterday. It was fantastic. It's a superhero film. The director is Christopher Nolan. I prefer love stories to action films. I think love stories are romantic. My favorite movie is Shakespeare's play, Romeo and Juliet. I don't like love stories. I prefer science fiction films to love stories. I watched the Hunger Games on TV last week. I think it was so interesting and exciting. The film is based on a novel by Susan Collins. I prefer fantasy stories to science fiction films. 
My favorite one is The Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring. It's about the adventures of some people in a fantastic world. I like horror films. My favorite is Scream. I think it's really frightening. Oh no, I can't watch horror films. Let's practice more. Page 164. CD 5, 7. 2. Listen to four people talking about their preferences. Draw happy or sad faces. John. I prefer quiz shows to talk shows. Quiz shows are very interesting. I learn a lot of interesting information. I don't like talk shows. They are a waste of time. Carrie. I prefer watching sitcoms because they are funny and I like laughing. I don't like soap operas because they are pretty boring. Elizabeth. I like watching TV series. I prefer horror stories to love stories. I think horror series are amazing. Sam. I prefer reality shows to TV series. I think reality shows are crazy. I don't like watching series because they aren't fun. Page 77. Quiz. Unit 1 to 5. CD 5 8. 3. Listen to the biography of famous scientist Alexander Graham Bell and complete the sentences. Alexander Graham Bell was born in Edinburgh, Scotland in 1847. He grew up in Edinburgh and then moved to London to live with his grandfather, Alexander Bell. He was a famous scientist, inventor, and engineer. He also showed a talent for art, poetry, and music. He was a brilliant person and had an interesting life. In 1870, he moved to the United States to teach. He invented the telephone in 1876. In 1880, he won the award, the French Volta Prize, for his invention. He died in 1922. Page 80 Word Hunt CD 6 1. Listen and repeat. Invite. Congratulate. Decorate. Attend. Invitation card. Guest. Host. Anniversary. Celebration. Page 82-83 1B Vocabulary CD 6 2 2 Listen and circle the correct word. 1. Carrie attended a graduation celebration in Brighton yesterday. 2. Paul congratulated me for my new job. 3. We went out for dinner for the celebration of our marriage anniversary. 4. I should prepare a guest list for my birthday party. 5. I need a lot of balloons to decorate my house.
Page eighty four. Word hunt. CD six, three. Listen and repeat. Beverage. Arrange. Fancy. Organize. Wrap. Refuse. Page eighty four, eighty five. One C. Listening. C D six. Four. One. Listen to the dialogues and number the photos. One. Good evening, madam. Welcome to our fancy dress party. Would you like something to drink? Yes, please. What do you have for beverages? I have some juice and coke. Jenny, I'll get some juice. Would you like some juice, Jenny? Yes, please. Just a little. Look at the sandwiches there. I'll get a sandwich. Would you like one? No, thanks. I am full. But I want to eat some cake. Would you like some cake, Jenny? No, thanks. I am hungry. I'll eat my sandwich first. Two. Wow, that's a great graduation celebration. Thank you, Thomas. I organized everything by myself. I arranged the decoration. I can't see Sally. Did she help you? No, she didn't. I invited her, but she refused. Why did she refuse? She doesn't like celebrations in the garden because of the insects. Oh, I see. Three. Hurry up! We're late for the dinner. Jack and Lucy called me five minutes ago. They're at the restaurant. I know they are very excited because this is their fifth wedding anniversary. But wait a second, I'm wrapping their present. Okay then, where is the restaurant? It's in a hotel called Big Ben. Okay, I know that hotel. It is next to the supermarket. Page eighty six, eighty seven. One D. Grammar. C D six five. Two. Listen and put a tick or a cross. One. Would you like some coke? No thanks. Yes please. Two. Would you like a sandwich? No, thanks. Yes, please. Three. Would you like some milk? Yes, please. No, thanks. Four. Would you like a piece of apple pie? Yes, please. No, thanks. Page eighty eight. One E. Skills. C D six six. One. Listen to the phone call of Lisa and Josh. Where does Lisa have her party?
Hello, you're talking to Josh. Hi, Josh. It's me, Lisa. I want to invite you to my costume party. Wow, I love parties. When is it? It is on Saturday night. It's at the weekend. That sounds great. Where is it? It is at Rio Hotel. It is near the post office. Okay, I know that hotel. Do you have a fancy dress for the party? Oh no, I don't have any fancy dresses. I should do shopping. Okay then, see you on Saturday. Thanks for your invitation. Bye. Page eighty nine. The Adventures of Zoe and Joey. CD six. Seven. Listen and read. Hi, I want to organize a fancy dress party. Can you help me? I love fancy dress parties. Where do you want to have it? What about our garden? It's a great idea. Let's write step by step. What should you do? First, I should prepare a guest list. Then, I should decorate the garden. Finally, I should prepare food and beverages. Let's start with the guest list. What do you need for decoration? I need a lot of balloons and flowers. And you need a lot of party hats. Joey, it isn't a birthday party. The guests can wear their own hats. Yes, that's right. Mom, I need some food and beverages for my party. Don't worry, I can help you. Thanks a lot. You are ready for your party now, but I'm not. I need a fancy dress. Did you buy your fancy dress? Yes, I did. It's a special dress. What did you buy? I can't say. It's a surprise. Joey, your dress is really special. Come on, Zoe. It's not funny. I'm kidding, Joey. Let's dance. Okay, I'm coming. Let's practice more. Page one hundred and sixty-seven. CD six eight two. Listen. And write a little, a lot of one or two. Then match them with the pictures. One, I need a lot of invitation cards for my birthday party. Two, he needs one or two party hats to choose for his party. Three. I'll get just a little cake because I'm on a diet. I shouldn't eat too much. Four. My sister is a celebration planner. She organized a lot of parties in this hotel. Five. I have just a little juice. I'll get more. Six, she invited just one or two friends to her party. Let's practice more. Page one hundred and sixty-seven. CD six nine three. Listen and put a tick. One. Would you like some chocolate? Yes, please. Two. Would you like some cookies? Just a few. Three. Would you like some lemonade? Just a little. Four. Would you like a banana? No, thanks. 
five. Would you like some cheese? Just a little. Six. Would you like some water? Just a little. Seven. Would you like a sandwich? Yes, please. Eight. Would you like some plums? Just a few. Let's practice more. Page one hundred and sixty nine. CD six ten. Six. Listen to the dialogue and order it. I'll get some sausages. Would you like some? No, thanks. I am full. I want some sausages, Peter. Would you like a Moody Julie? What's that? It's a kind of beverage. Okay, just a little, please. Page. Ninety-four, word hunt. C D seven, one. Listen and repeat. Imagine. Probably. Korea. Dream. Receive. Excellent. Believe. Guess. Page ninety nine. Word hunt. CD seven two. Listen and repeat. Trick. Predict. Make a guess. Peaceful. Make a career. Page ninety nine. One D. Listening. C D seven. Three. One. Listen to the conversation between two friends, Michael and Mary. Who will live in a big city? Why? Hey, what are you doing there? Oh no! Don't tell me. I will make a guess. Okay, guess it then. You're looking up good universities on the internet. Hey, don't play a trick on me. You didn't make a guess. You saw my computer screen. No, I predicted it because you studied hard. You passed the exam, and you will definitely go to university. Yes, exactly. I hope so. Where would you like to live after graduation? Well, I may not live in a big city. I may get married and live in a small city. Big cities are usually not peaceful. They're always busy, stressful, and tiring. I guess you are right, but I will live in a big city to make a career. Wow, I'm sure you will do it. I hope so, but I should tell you something. What's that? I didn't guess what you did. You were right. I saw your computer screen. So you played a trick on me, my lovely friend. Come on, I did it for fun, but I promise I won't do that again. <laughs> <laughs> Page one hundred and one: The Adventures of Zoe and Joey. CD seven four. Listen and read. 
I hope we will achieve success in the exam. Don't worry, we will. We studied so hard. Look at that woman. Let's talk to her. Come on, they always trick people. Can I have a word with you? Sure. What? Oh no. Come on, Joey. It will be fun. Okay. You'll have an exam and you'll fail. I don't believe you. It isn't possible to predict the future. It's your turn now. Okay, go ahead. Hmm. Hey, what is it? What can you see? You'll have an exam and you'll get a very good mark. Great, thank you. I don't believe that woman. You don't because she doesn't have any good news for you. Page 102 World Cultures CD 7 5 2 Listen to the text about Ryan Wang. Will he play the piano in the future? Ryan Wang is from Canada. He was born in 2008 and he started playing the piano at the age of four. He appears as a guest on popular TV shows and he performs at worldwide famous concerts. Ryan plays classical music, including the works of Beethoven, Bach and Chopin. He has received a lot of awards. He will definitely achieve more success and more people will know about him. How did little Ryan start music? He discovered the piano music in songs such as Black or White by Michael Jackson and playing the piano became his dream. He believes playing the piano is not very difficult, but you should practice a lot. What about his dreams for the future? Ryan won't stop playing the piano, of course, but surprisingly, he believes in the future he will make a career in the film industry. His mother knows her son's dreams for the future and she will help him with his dreams. Let's practice more. Page 172 CD 7 6 7 Now, listen to Karen and check your predictions. I should tell the truth. I don't want to make my mum upset. My mum will be back in an hour. First, I'll do my homework. Then, I'll watch my favorite TV program. Finally, I'll tidy up my room and read a book. My mum will be very happy and let me go out to play with my friends. Page 106 Word Hunt CD 8 1 Listen and repeat. Bakery. Chemists. Coffee shop. Amusement park. Game store. Shopping mall. Grocery. Movie theater. Department store. City hall. Page 109. 1B. Vocabulary. CD 8 2. 2. Listen and complete the sentences. One. I don't go to the shopping mall to do shopping at weekends. It's always very crowded. Two.
two. Jenny goes to the coffee shop around the corner on Tuesdays because she doesn't work on that day. Three. When the weather is nice, my mother takes us to the amusement park to have fun. Four. My friend and I like going to the game store to look at the new computer games after school. Five. My grandfather goes to the city hall to attend charity events. Six. I usually go to the grocery to buy fruit. Page one hundred and ten. One C. Listening. Word hunt. C D eight three. Listen and repeat. Art gallery. Fire station. Governorship. Municipal office. Music store. Police station. Post office. Butcher. Page one hundred and ten, one C, listening, C D eight four, one, listen and order the photos. Hi Lisa, it's me. Hi Harry, how was your week? Did you go to the art gallery to see the new exhibition? No, I didn't. I was so busy all the week. I went to the municipal office to get some documents for my new home. Then I went to the post office to send those documents to the bank. Did you go to the governorship to inform your new address? Yes, I did. When I went to the police station, I went to the governorship too. Why did you go to the police station? Is there a problem? No, I visited one of my friends. It was his birthday on Saturday. I went to the police station to give my present. How was your week? It was tiring. I worked every day. I stayed at the fire station at night. Why did you stay there? Two of my friends were off. I see. What will you do tomorrow? Let's go to the art gallery and the music store. I have some guests. I will go to the butcher to buy some meat. I will cook a special meal. Do you want to come? Okay. I love dinners. Page one hundred and twelve. One D. Grammar. C D eight five. Two. Listen, and put a tick in the right box. One. Where does Kim usually go at the weekends? She usually goes to the shopping mall to buy new clothes. Two. Where can Peter go to meet his friends? He can go to the coffee shop to meet his friends. Three. Where may Max go to buy some food for dinner? He may go to the grocery to buy some food for dinner. Four. Where should Lucy go to buy medicine for her grandmother? She should go to the chemist to buy medicine for her grandmother. Five. 
Where did Elizabeth go to buy a birthday present? She went to the shopping mall to buy a birthday present. Page one hundred and fourteen. One E. Skills. C D eight. Six. One. Listen, and complete the text with the words in the box. Look at the map of our city. We have a big city. I have some questions for you. First, where should you go to see a doctor? We should go to the hospital. That's right, and we should go to the chemists to buy medicine. Very good. Where should we go to report the burglary? We should go to Mr. Pitt's house. Who is Mr. Pitt? He's our neighbor. He's a police officer. <laughs> you should go to the police station to report the burglary. Where should you go to buy a magazine? We should go to the bookstore. Page one hundred and fifteen. The Adventures of Zoe and Joey, CD eight, seven. Listen and read. Finally, we are in London. I want to see lots of places. Me too. What will we do now? We will go to the city center to find a tourist information office. Let's go! I'm so excited. Wow, London is a really big city. Where should we start? I love history. I want to see all the museums. Listen, we will go to the British Museum to see mummies. Then. We will go to Madame Tussauds to see celebrities. Come on, Zoe. They aren't real. They were like real. What are they made of? They are made of wax. Shakespeare's mummy was great. I love his plays. We can go to a theater to watch one of his plays. Look at the map. There is a big theater called Shakespeare's Globe. Let's go there. What will we do tomorrow? We can go to the National Gallery to see famous paintings. Shh, be quiet, please. If you want to chat, you should go outside. Sorry. We should go to Hyde Park to have a picnic. We should go to the Oxford Street for shopping too. Do you need shopping? We should go to the big shopping mall around the corner. I think I shouldn't do shopping anymore. Oops! Help me, Zoe. Be careful, Joey. Are you okay? My leg. We should go to the hospital now. Let's practice more. Page one hundred and seventy-three. C D eight eight two. Listen and number the photos. One. You can go there to have fun. Two. You can go there to do shopping. Three, you can go there to drink something. Four, you can go there to buy some bread. Five, you can go there to watch a film. Six, you can go there to buy some food. Seven. You can go there to buy some medicine. 
Eight. You can go there to buy computer games. Page one hundred and twenty. Word hunt. CD nine. One. Listen and repeat. Threaten. Pollute. Global warming. Increase. Temperature. Responsible. Climate change. Greenhouse effect. Protect. Page one hundred and twenty-three. Word hunt. CD nine. Two. Listen and repeat. Waste. Eco-friendly. Take action. Recycle. Renewable. Solar wind energy. Efficient. Balance. Nature. Page one hundred and twenty three. One C. Listening. C D nine three. Two. Listen to the conversation about our environment, and compare your answers. Discuss the things you do, don't do to save the environment. Work in groups. We have serious environmental problems, and we need to take action. What should we do for our environment? We have to start using public transportation because car exhaust pollutes the air. Good idea, Ryan. What else? We must stop destroying forests because we need forests for water. We should also plant trees. We must protect forests. They give shade and provide food. Excellent. Rainforests are also important because they are necessary for oxygen. We should use eco-friendly products. These products don't cause soil, air, or water pollution. We mustn't use plastic too much. We should recycle plastic. Glass and paper. Excellent ideas. To save energy, we should use renewable and efficient energy sources like solar and wind energy. We have to use less water and electricity. We should protect wild animals because they are important for the balance of the nature. You're great. We have to do these things for a better environment. Page one hundred and twenty-seven. One E. Skills. C D nine four. One. Listen to the radio program. What are the people talking about? Carol. You are a member of Greenpeace, and you support a lot of campaigns about our environment. Can you tell us about those campaigns, please? 
We have lots of environmental problems, and humans are responsible for these problems. So we should do something to save our planet. Greenpeace is an international organization and works worldwide to save the planet. What kind of campaigns do you run for the environment? We work on climate change, saving the Arctic, protecting forests, working for peace, and lots of other environmental problems. Can you give us specific examples? What should we do to have a better future? Reduce energy consumption and use renewable energy. Don't use disposable plastic. Recycle more. Use public transportation. Ride your bike or walk. Don't drop litter on the roads. Eat less meat. Turn off the water when you're not using it. Thanks a lot, Carol. What do you want to say to our audience? Respect nature and our environment. Join an environmental organization and take action. Page 129. The Adventures of Zoe and Joey. CD 9. 5. Listen and read. I'm so happy. I like trees and forests so much. Me too. We'll have our own trees. Yes, I'm so excited. I'll give it a name. Hmm, good idea. First, choose a place for your tree. I'll plant it here. No, this is my place. Zoe and Joey, stop it, please. Sorry, Mrs. Robinson. Now, dig a hole in the soil. It's too difficult. Zoe, you're very weak. I'll help you. Are you okay, Joey? Did you see it? It's a rock. Now place your tree in the hole. Look, it's beautiful. Look at mine. It's more beautiful than yours. You're so jealous. Water your tree. Where's the water? Are you kidding me? I'm serious. Where's the water? I didn't bring it. We don't need water. You can give your tree a name. Hmm. I'll call her Beauty. Nice name. What's your tree's name? I'll call him Rain Man. You're so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Page 134 Word Hunt CD 10 1 Listen and repeat Solar System Moon Orbit Universe Gravity Surface Evidence Satellite Observe Planet Page 138 Word Hunt CD 10 
Two. Listen and repeat. Explore. Black hole. Proof. Meteor shower. Rescue. Space shuttle. Galaxy. Atmosphere. Page one hundred and thirty eight. One C. Listening. CD ten. Three. Two. Listen to the radio program and answer the question. Why? Was Charles in space last year? Hello, everyone. We have a guest from NASA today. Charles Watson is an astronaut. Welcome to our program, Charles. Thank you. I'm very glad to be here. Last year, you went to the moon. And stayed in a space shuttle for two weeks. What did you observe there? Can you tell us about your experience in space? Yes, of course. It was a fantastic experience for me. We went there to observe the moon, but we had many observations. We explored a lot of new stars in our galaxy. We observed a few meteor showers and took a video for NASA. Did you see a black hole in space? No, we didn't. If you go into a black hole, nobody can rescue you. It's very dangerous. It sounds scary. What about Mars? Does it have an atmosphere? Is there any water on the surface of Mars? Yes, Mars has an atmosphere. Some astronauts found water there years ago, but it isn't a proof of life on Mars. It was a pleasure to talk about space with you. Thank you very much. Be careful about black holes in space. Definitely, I will. Page. One hundred and forty. One E. Skills. C D ten. Four. One. Listen to the information about Pluto, and complete the sentences with the words in the box. Pluto is the largest object beyond the planets. It's a dwarf planet because it's very small. It's made of rock and ice. It has five satellites called as Charon, Nix, Hydra, Kerberos, and Styx. Scientists discovered Pluto in 1930. It was originally the ninth planet. International Astronomical Union defined the word planet in 2006. According to this definition. Pluto wasn't a planet anymore. They put Pluto in a new category called dwarf planet. In 2015, NASA's mission called New Horizons explored Pluto and its moons. New Horizons gave humans the first real look at this fantastic world in our solar system. It took photos of Pluto and its satellites. It gave scientists information about its size. Now scientists know that it is bigger than they thought. Page one hundred and forty-one. The Adventures of Zoe and Joey. CD ten. Five. Listen and read. I'm so excited. 
We will visit Kennedy Space Center on Friday. Me too. We can observe the stars and planets there. We can get into a space shuttle and explore inside too. A space shuttle? I can't wait for Friday. Look at that! They're launching the rocket. It's amazing. I really want to know about space. Let's go inside. Joey, what do you know about the planets? Look, this is Jupiter. It's the largest planet in the solar system. What about this planet? It's Uranus. It's the lightest planet. I know this planet. It's Mercury. Yes, it is. It's closer to the sun than Earth. It is named after Roman god Mercury. Really, I didn't know that. Wow. I can see a lot of stars. Can you see Venus? Which one is Venus? It's really bright. It's the hottest planet. Yes, it's there. I can see stars too. Wait a minute. I can see an alien. Really? Is it smiling? How do you know that? Come on. Where did you get it? Ha ha! It's just a toy, Joey. Let's practice more. Page one hundred and seventy-nine. CD ten. Six. Two. Listen and number the pictures. One. A black hole is very dangerous. You can get lost there. Two. The police found fingerprints on the door. It was a perfect proof for them. Three, she loves traveling and exploring new places. Four, there was a big fire in the shop next to my house. The firefighters rescued everybody there. Five. NASA sent a new space shuttle to explore the surface of Mars last year. Six. Last night, I observed a meteor shower in the sky with my telescope. It was an amazing experience. Quiz units six to ten. Page one hundred and forty-five. CD ten. Two. Activity five. Listen to the conversation between Gary, Ray, and Mary. Complete the sentences. You look tired. Yes. I studied maths for hours last night. I hope I'll pass the exam today. Which exam? Maths exam, Gary. Did you forget? I think we'll have the exam tomorrow. Do you think so? I hope so. I hope not. I don't want to study again. Did you finish the science project? Which project? Today is the due date. Miss Robin gave us the assignment last week. I think we'll give it to Miss Robin next Tuesday. Do you think so? I hope so. Hey, Mary, can I have a word with you? Sure, go ahead. Do we have the math exam today? Yes. 
When is the due date for the science project? Today. Oh my god, I won't pass the exam. Oh my god, I'll fail my assignment. Don't worry. Let's talk to Miss Robin. I think she will help you.